in 2006, uh, a, uh, a neuroscientist named Owen published uh, a landmark uh, uh, study in the journal Science uh, looking at brain function in people who were in persistent vegetative state. Persistent vegetative state is a condition where a person has such severe brain damage that they show no sign of consciousness at all. It's basically a persistent deep coma. And it can go on for years. Uh, and many times people who are diagnosed as being in persistent veg vegetative state, uh, for example from a car accident or from a lack of oxygen to the brain, something like that, many times their family and, and sometimes their, their caretakers will say, but I get the sense that the person is there, that they understand things, but there's no clinical evidence for it. You examine them, there's no sign of any reaction at all. And on scan, their brains are, are shrunken and obviously severely damaged. So <clears throat> Owen did a fascinating experiment. He used a technique called functional MRI imaging, which is an MRI machine that images changes in blood flow in the brain that seems to correlate with brain function. So if you're moving your arm, the part of your brain that involves moving your arm lights up on the on functional MRI. Um, if you're thinking about stuff, your frontal lobes light up, things like that. So what Owen did is that he took a woman who had been diagnosed for several years in persistent vegetative state from a car accident, uh, who showed no sign at all of any awareness, deep coma, put her in the MRI machine and um, asked her questions a little microphone and head and headset. He said, um, pretend that you are playing tennis or imagine that you're walking across the room. And he asked her to imagine all these things and her brain kind of lit up in places. But you could say that, well, the brain lighting up doesn't mean she was understanding anything. It just meant maybe the sound coming into her ears was causing a reflex or something. So what he did was he took 15 normal people and he did the same thing with them, stuck them in the machine put, and asked the same questions. And then he asked neuroradiologists to look at the functional MRI images of this woman and the 15 normal people and see if you could tell a difference between the two. And they couldn't. Her pattern of reaction was identical to the normal people. That seemed to imply that she could understand what he was asking, even though medically she was diagnosed as having no, no mind at all. And he, did, and he did something that was very clever, that absolutely fascinates me. And he said, maybe the lighting up of areas in, in her brain and the lighting up of the areas in normal people's brains was not because of understanding, was, but was just because of the reception of the sound. And that it didn't really mean she understood. So what he then did is he took the same words that he had asked her before, and he asked them again, but he mixed, them, but he mixed the sequence of the words, so they didn't make any sense. Walking, understand, pretend, room across. So he took away the semantics and just left some syntax. And her brain stopped, stopped reacting, as did the normal controls. Her brain only reacted when what he said to her made sense. It didn't react from just sound. So Owen's work was a landmark study. And it made people begin to question these folks who were in persistent vegetative state, are they really unaware? And so his study has been repeated by a number of different investigators, and there probably, last I looked, there were 40 or 50 patients who had been studied by other investigators. And at least half of them showed the same thing that he found, that even when your brain is so massively destroyed that there's no clinical evidence for any mental activity at all, functional MRI can find that these patients are capable of thinking in quite, quite clear ways. And, um, there are some patients who can do mathematics. That is that what, what some researchers have done is they will ask uh, a person in persistent veg vegetative state uh, to do simple math, what's eight plus six, and then, and then give them different answers. And when you, when, you, when, you, when you hit the right answer, the brain lights up. So very clearly, there are aspects of the mind that cannot be destroyed by severe brain damage. That's what Owen's work is showing us. It's showing us there are aspects of the mind that aren't connected tightly to the brain that are immaterial.